Where did this place come from? It wasn't here a few minutes ago. I don't care. Let's see if we can get some directions. Maybe it's Brigadoon. There's someone at the door. The hell? He looks great. I trust him implicitly. <laughs> uh, you're rolling, Mr. Ma okay, hang on, honey. I'm gonna try to turn this boat. I might need an acre or two. Well, every frame of this movie looks like someone's last known photograph. <laughs> well, on second thought, let's go back and ask him. Shot on location in Spooner, Wisconsin. Uh, are you part of the movie we're in? You should know right off the bat that I made a boom boom in my pants. A <laughs> wet him. Still making it, actually. Guy looks like a chainsaw sculpture. <laughs> Tom Cruise yeah. is Dr. John. He seems tame enough. Yeah, drink me in, folks. Cost you nothing to look. <laughs> hey, you're nothing special either, you guys. Um, could somebody break the ice, please? Well, hang on, honey. I'm gonna see if this guy has any hot tips on the stock market. He <laughs> looks the type. Well, this does look inviting. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You're getting out? You're not firing warning shots or driving away very, very quickly while screaming in terror? Uh, honey, why don't you talk to the hairy man? You're good with people. There is Ah. You two stay with the nice man. I'm gonna go find a Ramada. No, oh, that dumpster burrito I ate is flighting back on me. Uh, okay, we brought the kid. Now give us the negatives. Uh, I don't feel so good. <clears throat> I am Torgo. I take care of the place while the master is away. The master? Bobby Fisher? Well, hello, Torgo. <laughs> How proud your parents must be. The child, I'm Pure not sex. sure the master would approve. Or the dog. The master doesn't like children. Oh, it's W.C. Fields. We only want to know where Valley Lodge is. Which way do we go? Oh. Uh, it, there is no place like that around here. Uh, but you're welcome to stay here. I just put a fresh batch of squirrels in the oven. Uh, oh, there. Better. Um, uh. Mike, I'm scared. Of what? what if Torgo doesn't like us? Dark. Sure he is from the well, edge of hell. Uh, which way is out of here? Torgo has a detailed map for you. Unfortunately, it's in his pants. Oh, lady, I have that effect on people, but I'm not a bad guy. There is no way out of here. It will be dark soon. There is no way out of here. It'll be dark soon. No way out. She believs him. <laughs> well, you know, we, we could spend the night here, and then oh, tomorrow my, we can... My... I don't want to spend the night here. I don't like the look of the place. Well, it seems we have no alternative. Well, how about it, Torgo? Can we spend the night here? Well, I could ask the royal family to leave. Well, I don't know what else we can do. Look, we got a convention in town. I'm sorry. Well, I don't know what else we can do. <laughs> Mike, I don't want to stay here. And the master wouldn't approve. Don't worry about it. We're here now, and I'm sure the master won't throw us out. Oh, God. Not only well, accept that there is a master, but it, even Torgo. seems to know about the guy's mood. Yeah. <laughs> guy buys right into the whole master thing. I don't know about it. I just don't know. I'll have to run it by my sales manager. I really don't like to associate with people who shower. And the negotiations continued into the night. Ambiguity is scary. She just remembers she slept with Torgo after a frat party in college. Ooh. Awkward. Boy, I'm torn. Torgo, my wife. Huh? Mm. Huh? What is this, mm. Final Jeopardy? Huh? Oh, look, I've got some beans going back there. I... A lot of underwear on the floor back in there. And I don't even wear underwear. Who's the guy you used to know who works at a Kinney Shoes and won't leave you alone? God, what's he reaching for? Oh, ah. Pants. <laughs> okay, you can stay. Unless, of course, this is your first vacation. Damn it! You can vacation with Torgo, but don't bring your American Express card. Very well. The master will be very disturbed. Here, go chat with the master, honey, there. Well, this is a creepy and potentially very dangerous situation. Wife, young daughter, you go first. You got family, Torgo? Get the, the luggage. Ah, uh, that's not how you wear your depends, Torgo. Been hitting the thigh master, Torgo? Yes, between the two of them, Torgo seems like the best candidate to bring in the luggage. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, we'll stay tonight and then tomorrow. You must be. You cannot stay. 
The master would not uh, approve. Oh, what does the master approve? I can't stay. Uh, Why the hell are you bringing in my luggage? <laughs> uh, the door's over that way, Targo. If you're... you know, it's tough to be smooth when you have a full-grown raccoon in each pant leg. I'm losing it. Left. Oh, there I go. I'm going left. Help. I'm... Oh, oh. It's like having Joe Cocker as your bellhop. Uh, careful, honey. Torgo's been marking his territory. Oh, how will they ever top their first vacation? <laughs> oh, look, honey. Torgo has a little altar to Baal. No, those are not the hands of fate. Those nope. are the hands Torgo bought at a knick-knack shop in Sedona. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they had a little problem with the last fire there. <laughs> Yule log got out of hand. God, the same crap we've been looking at for a whole minute! <laughs> See, you're feeling better already. Rolling in filth will do that for you. Torgo's stained couch works its magic again. <laughs> Look at this. Huh. <laughs> oh my God. Just, oh. Hi again. The haunting Torgo theme. Hope you're having fun. Don't mind me. Just need to go into your guest bathroom and pick my hairs off all the little soaps. Well, it's almost as if you don't want him to carry your luggage, dear. Hey, Torgo, got a match? <laughs> Just kidding. Well, that Torgo, I hate to see him go, but I love to watch him leave. I swear I know that guy. Ha ha, we, this couch is giving us both mange. Ha <laughs> ha It's fun. Have fun. Uh, line? Never seen her so happy, dear. I'm bemused by this plucky painting. I know. It's a uh, Frank Frazetta of, a, of Frank Zappa. I'm thinking of having that tattooed on my face, dearest. Tonight on Night Gallery. Oh. Okay, so, should we head down to the bar? Must be the master himself. Yeah, he just exudes authority, he does. He looks like a straight shooter, and you know, the fellas and I do need a forage for golf. He has the meanest look. And it won't go with your sofa, either. I'd hate to run up on him in the dark, or even in the light, for that matter. Honey, uh, should we be in a cutaway here? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Our host looks to be a terrifying psycho. Ooh, I hope they have those little cantaloupe chunks at the Continental Breakfast. I love those. I left a piece of chewed gum on your pillow. Hey, hey, where, where's the theme music? Has the Torgo magic really worn off already? <laughs> oh, that's the playful side of Torgo right there. <laughs> damn it, Torgo. We were almost done looking at the painting. Now we have to start all over again. Oh, the dog is sharp again, Mommy. <laughs> See? Listen, kid, I got a bad feeling we're going to wind up sewn together here. Must be your master. Where did you say he was? He's in Houston he this week. This world. But he is with us always. No matter where we go, he is with us. Oh, so he's like the opposite of AT&T. Right. Yes. You know, I bet the master and I would really get along. I'd like to think that. What? No matter where he goes, what does that mean? That dog is the most vicious looking animal I've ever seen. Sorry, is this the painting's internal okay, monologue? Okay, I think so. There is nothing to fear, madam. <laughs> the master likes you. Nothing will happen to you. He likes you. Likes me? I thought you said he was dead. Honey, you're embarrassing Torgo. So, your husband's a corpse and he likes you. Yes. <laughs> Torgo no, Baron. Not dead the way you know it. Dead? No, madam, not dead the way you know it. Uh, look, it's kind of complicated. Us, I can show you to your room. Not dead the way you know it. He is with us always. Now Torgo's gonna get the papers, get the papers. Makes sense to me, honey. What's your problem? <laughs> Nothing to worry about. It's only your imagination. Yeah, like that time you imagined we shouldn't let Debbie eat lead paint. <laughs> Can Scruffy eat the silverfish? Hmm. So, have you guys seen the wire? <laughs> well then, so, Master uh, pay it pretty well, huh? <laughs> so. And that poor kid. Mm -hmm. I think that it's best that I show you to the bedroom now. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Top bunk is mine. Bottom bunk is just a puddle of my drippings. Huh. Nice guy. <laughs> oh my God. Drippings. Mike, what was that? It's Howlin' Wolf. Go up that wing, dang doodle all night long. Passing out. Probably the best option in this, on that couch. Hey, look, I know you're an evil hell beast, but could you hold it down? It's after nine and we got kids. I'll go check this out. <laughs> feet, feet and rescue. Better not be that darn Dennis the Menace in the hydrangeas again. That's it. Mix it up, Fifi. Go, go. Go neck, Fifi. Neck. Relax, dear. It's just a cow with diarrhea. <laughs> it's pretty scary. Someone left a cake out in the rain. 
Sounds like Gene Krupa's out here. Mothra, no! Okay, let's see here. Wet naps, flashlight, revolver, good. Stay here, get back into the house. Can't be too careful. Sounds like a piano is having a fight with an Atari game out there. Oh, little Debbie replaced the bullets with sweet tarts again. I gotta let her stop playing with this thing. 